we just have to acknowledge that we are creating our own lives. So hello, everyone. I am Bori Komarami, Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator, Coach, and uh, Hypnotherapist, and a lot more. Uh, so how we define ourselves. And um, what would it take to really now have this Zoom to start to acknowledge you, acknowledge your power, your potential, and the truly being you. So the energy of creation. Because what would it take to just know that nothing is happening with you? You are not the victim of this reality. You are not uh, the. Um, uh, you are not just going with the flow, but you are the flow, and you are the wave, and you are the source of all your creations. So now everything what is in your life has been created by you. And so many times people don't understand this, how I could create an illness, a disease, or how I created uh, COVID, how I created uh, this trauma or drama. It's not depending on me. But what if now is the time to acknowledge that everything is your creation? And now just imagine if you could create a lockdown, which uh, lasted, I don't know, two years now, then how powerful you are from your point of view. You were creating it and we were creating it collectively because we were asking for some change to occur in this planet Earth, in this universe. Perhaps those changes are not arriving to life as we computed before, as we calculated before, as we thought it will come to a life. Perhaps uh, it arrived in a totally different way. And that's why we don't understand, oh, it was not me who was asking for it. But what would it take to just acknowledge that yes, it was you and me and you and you, and you. So all of us who were asking for this. And if now you want to make yourself wrong, oh, but then why I was choosing this? No problem. So please don't judge you. What if nothing is wrong? And nothing is wrong about you, nothing is wrong about this universe. What if now is the time to choose something else and to create a different future? And so many times we have to destroy and uncreate the past and the old reality to create a new one. So perhaps it's not, not comfortable. Perhaps it's uh, sometimes uh, really uncomfortable. But this creates the magic, what you truly desire. Because perhaps you got some awareness, perhaps you got some uh, inspiration, perhaps you even got a kick off from the universe or kick ass from the universe to create even greater. So what if problems are not problems but possibilities to create something greater, to create something else. And what if everything is for you? Everything is happening for you. And it was your ask. Perhaps it showed up in a different way. But this is the result of your choices up till now. And uh, if you know this, and if you acknowledge how huge creation you are capable of, then you acknowledge, oh, I could create this in the world. Then what else is possible? And how many times we don't see uh, our possibilities because of our problems? And how many times we are not looking beyond 
What's going on? What are the distracting plants? And what we are using to stock ourselves to this reality. And um, wow. So I'm practicing access for eight years now. I was really in my trauma drama because at that time I divorced with three really small girls. So my youngest daughter was two and a half year old and my my biggest, so the, the third one, uh, the oldest, she was uh, five years old. And uh, I've lost everything. I didn't have a house, an apartment to live. I didn't have car. I didn't have money because uh, we went out, went uh, um, bankrupt with um, the company, with our company. And I had to restart my life, not from zero, but from minus, 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 uh, minus $100,000 or something like that. And uh, I didn't have any help because uh, um, my father, I have no relationship with, uh, and my mother, uh, she lives in a small apartment and she's already um, in the retreat. So um, I was there in my trauma drama. And that was the moment when uh, access came to my life. And with the questions, how does it get any better than that? What else is possible here? What if I was creating this? And what is great about this, what I cannot perceive? I even, I wanted to kill the facilitator. Well, not kill, but I was like, how you, can, how you dare to ask those questions? How you can ask uh, me what is great about this, what I cannot perceive? And uh, she was so calm. And uh, she was also in her divorce, but she was talking with so much gratitude and kindness about his, her ex-husband. And I asked her, how do you do this? How it's possible? And she, she just answered, what if you just start to look at your life from a different perspective, from a different point of view? And what if everything is for you? What if this was your choice? And what if this was the best choice ever? Even if it was not me who told to quit the family. So uh, that is my story. And the change, what happened since? And what if we acknowledge that it, it was not happening? It was my creation. If someone tells me 10 years ago, how will be my life in 10 years? I would say, oh no, it's not possible. I'm so miserable. I'm so pathetic. And uh, I was really in my, um, so I was the, the martyr of my life. And I enjoyed <laughs> that uh, um, ghillie suit of pathetic. So uh, then I started to ask, questions, questions of access, access consciousness. And um, I just realized how powerful I am, how grateful I am, and uh, how huge I can create if I start to believe that everything and indeed anything is possible. So what if now is the time to just start to acknowledge that you are the source of your creations, that you are power, you are potential, you are really the one who is the boss in your life, who is the leader. So are you willing to step up now? and uh, stop complaining because I was doing it as well. And I enjoyed it so much because then I was really part of my reality, part of other people's reality. 
because they were complaining, I was complaining. So we had the connection point and I didn't fall alone. But what if you can choose something else? What if you don't have to buy the lies of this reality, of the media, of the crisis, of the problems? Who you truly are, if you are choosing you, because everything what is light for you is when you are being you, and everything what is uh, heavy or difficult, it's not you. It's not your story. It's not your problem. It's not your pain. It's not your suffering. So how much you are aware of this universe, how much you want to heal everyone, how much you are an empath to feel the problems and sufferings of everyone around you, and how much you want to make other people happy, how much you put yourself to the end of the queue, and how much you are creating your life for other people to live up to their expectations, to um, feel connected, to feel lovable, to feel enough, to feel part of your society. So how much you want to be included and how much are you excluding yourself from the equation of your life? So what if now is the time to really start to be so honest with you? What works for you? And where are you in your life? How are you living your life? And um, are you truly feeling that your life is abundant? That you have everything already? That you live this kind of totality and you are 99% in your life working from the gratitude or functioning from the gratitude? If not, what if this is now the time? to just start to be honest with you and uh, be very, very conscious about what works for you and how you want to create your life. Because so many times we think that we are stuck because uh, we think we are wrong. But what if it's not true? What if you are not wrong? What if it's just uh, the things where you think you do everything in a great way? What stops you? So it's really dangerous because those things where you think you are right, you don't want to change because you think that it's great, it's working. So for example, if you have a point of view, that you are not enough good, then you are creating situations to prove that you are not enough good. So that's why you don't deserve things. So you are not asking for more because you think you don't deserve. So what if the problem is not that you are not enough because this is a lie, it's not true. The problem is that you are not asking for more, that you are not asking greater. You are not asking for more ease, more joy, more fulfillment, more totality, more abundance, more money, better relationships. Because you think you are not enough good, so you don't deserve a good relationship, you don't deserve more money, you don't deserve better salary, you don't deserve so many things 
But as I mentioned, what is light for you, it's true for you. And what is heavy for you, it's not true. So just now is the time to acknowledge that all those thoughts, feelings, and emotions are not yours and are not true for you. So are you willing to change it? Are you willing to uh, tap into the energy? What makes you stunning? What makes you sparkling? And what creates your life? What is really the energy of um, creating magic and asking something which you thought it's not available for you? But what if it's not true? What if everything is available? And uh, now I'm creating international classes all around the world. And 10 years ago, I had a point of view that I don't dare to speak in front of people because I was shy. And once I had an exam and I couldn't answer to the teacher and I felt so ashamed that I thought I will never ever talk in front of people anymore. And when a facilitator asked me, what is the, your hugest fear? And I told talking in front of people and uh, she asked me, is now the time to go beyond this distractor implant, to go beyond this fear? And since with my vulnerability, I just started to create classes because I knew that it can create more and not only more for me, but more for other people. Because if I can show that you can create what magic we can instill to this crazy reality, and what if we can be the contagious virus of joy? So um, are you willing to create not only for you, but for the whole universe? Because when you are you, when you are being you, you are the hugest contribution to everyone. And when you start to smile, it's also contagious. It's also gifting people. And it doesn't, it doesn't cost. And when you start to be this energy, the source energy within you starts to explode and expand out and you start to be the energy of generative, creative magic, then people will start to come to you, create more with you and you will start to spread your life. It will be automatic and you don't have to do more or work harder. It's just the side effect. So money follows joy and all the possibilities are following this energy when you are the flow. So what if we just acknowledge that um, you are creating this and please don't judge yourself because it's amazing. Everything is amazing what you have created. So now please just lower your barriers. Take a deep breath in and out. And just feel gratitude. Feel gratitude for yourself. Feel your energy within you. Feel the energy between your molecules. Feel the power. 
and you are the source. Where can you feel and perceive your source energy? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your heart area or even your head? So just start to spread out this energy, what lies in you, that you were hiding so long time ago. And I know that somewhere in some doubt of you or in some dreams of you, you knew that something else is possible as you like that you can be even more happy, then you can be even more wealthy, you can have even better relationships, you can be healthier, you can create more. You just didn't dare to acknowledge this, or perhaps no one has told to you. But what if now is the time to get up and every single morning when you go to your bathroom and you see yourself in the mirror, you just tell to you, wow, you are amazing. Wow, you are beautiful. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. And you say your name out loud, even if your family will not understand. She's crazy or he is crazy. Are you willing to tell yourself compliments and be grateful for you? Because you have created your body and you have created your life. And even if it's not perfect, even if you don't have yet everything, what if now you can choose it and start to play with it? And uh, after this Zoom, what would it take to just really start to play, play your life? Just ask in the morning, okay, buddy, what glorious adventures we can have today. What magic we can create today? What magic can we receive today? And what I can be grateful for today? And it doesn't have to be huge things. Perhaps you will just get some present, some compliment. Ah, you are shiny. You are happy. What's happened? You are stunning. Perhaps you just receive to just some energy of being present. Perhaps you are just receiving something from nature, a beautiful sunrise, or where you can be present, or you will focus more on the beauty of this universe. And where your focus is on, you get more of that. So what would it take to just be aware of what is around you, what is wonderful, what is beautiful, what is magical? Because what if every sunrise is magical? Was it, what if moving your body is magical? How can you just, by a thought, dance with your fingers? It's a thought which creates physical reactions of your body. And if you can move your body as you wish, what if you just acknowledge that your power is not stopping where your body's borders are. Your energy is not only within your body, but it's beyond. And you can create effect 
on other people's thought. For example, with your smile. When you smile, you project out the energy of joy and it will spread to other people and they will become more happy. So that's how your energy is not stopping and it's not limited by your body because you are an infinite being and you create a fact on this universe, on other people, even on nature. When you exhale CO2, it's a huge gift to the plants because they are using it and they are breathing it in. So are you willing to acknowledge today that you are a gift? And not only for you, but for everyone else and everything else and to the planet Earth. So what can you create today which has a greater effect on this planet? And also, what can you receive from this universe? Because everything that you are receiving is the reflection from the universe of your energy, which is congruent with your energy. And that's how you can start to control your thoughts, feelings, and emotions to focus on different things, to be more present, to be more grateful, to feel more joy, because your brain cannot do difference between what you are imagining and what you are truly living. So what if now is the time to acknowledge that everything is depending on you, that you are the source, you are the power, you are the potential, you are the leader. And if you acknowledge this, then what can you choose? What can you create? What can you ask for and what can you receive? What do you truly desire? What magic you can create? Be, acknowledge, live, experience, and enjoy. Because your life is orgasmic. So are you willing to acknowledge this? And are you in to um, start to create it? You are already creating it. Just acknowledge it. And then you will shift everything around you and in you. So that's my invitation. And uh, I wonder what magic can start now. What choices you can have, you can create, you can make today that will create a different future. Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to step up and be the leader who you truly are, who you already are? You just have to acknowledge this. So, um, wow. I'm so super grateful for all of you, for all the translators who are here from all around the world, from Brazil, from Mexico, from Romania, from Hungary, from Germany, from uh, Arabic countries, from France. Thank you so much being here 
and creating the magic together. And um, my mission is really to spread this energy, to make everyone know what they know, what they can be, what they can create, what they are already creating. So what would it take to just be this energy and uh, be the contribution by just being you? But if you don't have to do it, it's really enough to live it, to be it, to exist it. So this is my invitation. And thank you so much being here. And if you would love to, I will create online foundation classes. I have created last month as well and some months ago. And uh, now I'm creating every single month to create the communion with different people from all around the world, with different energies, but the same energy and the same willingness and the same aim to create a greater planet, to create more joy, to create greater possibilities. So if you want to join one of those classes or any free class or uh, any online creations, I'm really happy to have you on board and let's create magic together. So thank you so much being here and I hope to see you perhaps live anywhere in this planet or online. So what can we create together? What was never ever possible before? Thank you so much and have a wondrous life. Bye-bye. Thank you.